Alrighty guys welcome back and in this video I want to start talking to you about something called services. Now a service is a process that can run in the background of your app. So it's pretty much a chunk of code that can run and it doesn't interfere with the users you know just using the app or anything like that and also a service doesn't have an interface. You can't um, you know make an activity or any buttons to go along with the service it's just a chunk of code that runs in the background so why would you ever want to make a service well say that you had I don't know maybe a social network app that was constantly checking for new notifications or maybe you had a messenger app that was always checking for new messages well of course these are just things that run in the background and you don't need to you know click a button that say okay check for new messages now okay check for new messages now or else it would be kind of annoying so that's what a service is um, another thing that they're really good for is downloading images off a website in the background so again now that you got the idea what I want to do is show you guys how they're created and what I did is I pulled up that Apple's bacon program that we made earlier and that's just because I'm going to show you guys that whenever you create a service properly it's just a chunk of code that runs in the background and it doesn't interfere with the user experience you can just put a button on the screen or something just anything that you can interact with to essentially demonstrate that okay the service isn't interfering with the user experience at all so actually we can close out of these we really don't need those files we're not going to be editing those at all so again I'm going to keep my apples and bacon Java files open just so you guys see what's going on now the first type of service I'm going to show you guys how to create is called an intent service and in order to create this go to your main package right here and right click new and add a new Java class now I'm just going to name this Bucky's intent service and click OK and we'll just pretend that this service is for downloading images off the internet although all I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out a little um, bit of text that says like uh, the service is running or something but we'll pretend that this is for downloading images off of like I don't know maybe we made like an Instagram type app or something like that alright so whenever you make a new intent service there are a couple rules that you have to follow the first rule is you need to have a constructor in here and that's just kind of for housekeeping and the second rule is you need to have a method called on handle intent now inside that method is where pretty much whatever you want your service to do that's where the code goes so remember those two rules and let's go ahead and import everything to make it work first so Android app intent service because that's pretty much what this class is doing and Android content intent there we go it already knew alright so in order to make this class this intent service we actually need to holy caps lock inherit from intent service so now once we do that again the first thing I said is public actually I wonder if there's an autocomplete for a constructor there we go alright so here's my constructor right here and of course the only thing that you have to do is you need to pass the super class the name of this class and that's just um, the rules for Android to make sure it works and you actually don't even need any of this because we aren't using any parameters and we can get rid of this as well now the only other thing that we need to do is we need to put an override method in and that is called if I can find it called on handle intent if you guys see it let me know oh here it is on handle intent so again this is just housekeeping stuff this is saying that this is indeed an intent service or a service and in here I'll just write like um this is what the service does so this is pretty much to meet the most important part so for now since we don't want this service to actually do anything what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import android.util.log and this is just 
so I can print out a log message right here so we can see that this is actually working now in order to do that we already did this before so you know nothing new so private static final string tag and remember you set this equal to whatever your package name is and this is just standard you know I'm not just like making this up you should name it tag and you should set it equal to whatever your package is and now of course whenever you wanna log a message just call log dot i and the first parameter is that tag and the second one is what message do you want to output down here and I would just write something like uh, like the service has now started alright so that's all this service is gonna do of course like I said later on you might may want to like check some database for updates or download images or see if you got any new chat messages in here but for right now just print out a message oh well so after this what we need to do is we need to hop over to the manifest and in our manifest we need to say okay we actually are using this service right now so if you go right above application and right below activity because this is well it's just where you need to put it if you throw service and the name that you put in here is just the name of your class and where did my manifest go alright so make sure you put dot in the name of your class and that's it and this just registers a service with your manifest in other words it tells your app hey we got the service so you know that's that so pretty sweet let me just okay messed everything up awesome alright so we registered with the manifest we created a service looking good looking good now the one last thing that we need to do is we need to actually start this service because remember I said a service is pretty much some kind of process that runs in the background but it doesn't just start by default whenever your app starts you have to kick it off manually so in order to do that we can just head over to apples Java and we'll just throw it right on this on create so whenever this app gets created it's gonna kick off that service now in order to do that intent I'll just name it intent and set it equal to new intent and the parameters are of course this and if I can just copy this it's pretty much like any other intent actually come to think of it alright so now we have an intent which means we intend to la launch some kind of class and that class is this service or this background process right here easy wheezy now anytime we want to start service you just call start service what do you want to launch well how about that one right there alright pretty stinking sweet so now as soon as this app starts it's gonna launch this service and the one thing I actually forgot to do is set up this log filter because this is gonna print out log messages but as you guys can see there are crap load printing out right here and this would indeed print them out but it would print out all these other ones as um, well so of course what we want to do is we want to filter out only the ones that we care about so copy this hit editor edit filter configurations and I'm just gonna make a new filter called like Bucky's filter and throw that right in there alright so that's a little bit cleaner so now let me go over to apples again and kick this baby off alright so check this out it says the service has now started in other words this service currently right now would be doing something like downloading images off of the internet but check it out I'm gonna click it it goes to bacon click it it goes to apples essentially we can have this service running and it doesn't interfere with the user experience so now you guys are probably wondering alright well you told me in the last tutorial that computers run a list of instructions in a nice neat order so how is it that we can be having two different things happen at the same time 
Well, you know in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to manually create a thread and you can put code in there to run at the same time as your main program or your main thread? Well, whenever you create an intent service, it automatically creates a thread for you. So even though we don't see runnable or thread or anything like that, it does it all for you behind the scenes. So that's a pretty cool aspect of intent services. It automatically takes your service and it kicks it onto another thread so it doesn't interfere with the user experience at all. So pretty stinking sweet. We now got images downloading and it doesn't even interfere with any of that. So in the next tutorial what I'm going to be showing you guys is another type of service and <clears throat> all right you know what I'm going to explain it then because my throat is uh, dying out here so well anyways I'll see you then.